If you want to get high paying tech jobs in US and study from top 50 schools, then this video is for you. Let me tell you an interesting story of two of my clients, Abhinav and Shikha both wanted to do software development kind of roles in US and both had similar profiles. That is their GPA was less than 8, their GRE score was somewhere around 320 and they had average projects. While Abhinav had studied computer science at RB College of Engineering, which is a very good school and had even three years of experience, he got into only MCS program at Arizona State University. Shikha, on the other hand, had studied electrical and computer engineering and was a fresher, but she still managed to get into CMU and NYU. What was different in both these cases? The difference is that Abhinav applied only to MS in computer science programs, whereas Shikha applied to CS related programs, but not exactly MS in CS. She got into cybersecurity program at NYU and MSIN program at CMU. Let's talk about these cases and how you can get these kind of good results as well. As you can see, strategy makes a lot of difference. Now, I often say that computer science is one of the toughest majors to crack in US because these programs get applications from very, very solid candidates who not only have academic and industrial, but also research experience in CS. So to crack these MS in CS programs can be a bit challenging. But if all you want to do is work as a software developer or software engineer in US, then you don't necessarily need this MS in CS degree, right? So why not look at these related programs, these alternative programs to computer science as well, because you can get a much higher quality admit in these programs, just like Shikha did. Let's read more about this program. So as you can see on the website of CMU, MSIN degree offers curriculum that combines CS, ECE courses, software engineering, information systems, while also incorporating business and policy perspectives. So these are multidisciplinary degrees and they include courses from computer science as well. Similarly, we have MS in software engineering is another good example, right? So if you just want software jobs in US, you can actually get it from MS in software engineering, MS in IT, or even MS in MIS kind of courses. There are three major benefits of these programs. First of all, you can still get into software engineering kind of roles from these programs, which means that you are not compromising on your career goal. Secondly, they are also STEM certified, which means that they also get the benefit of three year OPT and work visa related advantages. And lastly, they are quite less competitive as compared to MS and CS, which means you can get into a higher ranked university in these courses. So am I saying that MS in CS is useless? Of course not. MS in computer science is a highly coveted degree and it's especially important in two cases. Number one is if you're trying to work in core tech roles at top tech companies like Mang. For example, if you want to be a software developer at Google, they will really require you to have a very solid knowledge of algorithms and foundation courses in computer science. Similarly, if you want to work in core tech roles in Amazon, Netflix, Facebook, and these other companies, they will make you go through rigorous tech interviews where you will benefit from computer science degree. But if you're happy developing software on Wall Street, which by the way also pays great, or other non-tech companies, then they are not really as discerning. They are okay as long as you can do coding, programming, and build basic software. In that case, do you really need to study courses like theory of computation? That is the question. For example, when I went to UIUC, I had to take at least three requisite foundation courses in computer science, which included theory of computation, compilers, and courses like these, which I did not really use much on my Wall Street job. So in that case, you don't require a CS uh, degree, but yes, if you want to work with core tech companies in a very core tech profile, MS in computer science will really benefit you. Second great benefit of computer science is that it's a generalist degree and gives you a wide variety of course and career options. You can specialize in AI or systems or databases. And another advantage is, let's say you went to grad school thinking that you wanted to specialize in networking. 
but after you took a few courses in ai or ml now you are more interested in that field so you have the option of taking ml electives and switching your specialization within cs but these other courses that we are talking about will not offer you this flexibility they are more specialized focused and narrow in nature than computer science so of course the choice of courses is limited for example if you are studying cyber security a lot of your courses will be about cyber security and you may not have elective options like machine learning so that is also one reason why some people prefer cs degree only so coming back to the specialized degrees i still think they are great especially if you're not too fixated on the curriculum all you are looking for is to get a high paying good quality tech job in us and you're using this course as a way to enter the workforce in us then these courses are absolutely great for that let's take a look at some of the good programs that you can apply in this category um of course i'm mentioning only the high ranked ones there are many more options so the first category you can look at look at is ms in software engineering here we have schools like cmu uc irvine ut dallas then you can apply for ms in cyber security at universities like georgia tech nyu tandon and northeastern university for ms in it or information security or policy you have great programs at ut austin arizona state university and ut dallas and of course there are many more choices in mis and mem programs we will cover that in a separate video a bonus tip here is that cmu has a lot of these niche programs okay like msin ms aii ms in software management ms in software engineering mcds etc so i do think you should check out cmu and pick out few courses that are relevant for you right now let me add this disclaimer again that this video by no means is saying that ms in cs is not advantageous i did ms in cs it was a great platform for me to launch my career but to be honest i did not use all those courses that i had to study because i went to wall street now if i had gone to silicon valley and worked with a tech company maybe the story would be different so do think about your career goals and if you are open uh, about multiple uh, career options or job choices and you just want to get a good salary and do a tech job then these other programs can be a great path for you to enter us and start working let me know your thoughts about this topic because it can be slightly controversial and your thoughts also on the school list we shared don't forget to check out the master classes we have because they can help you get the best possible masters admits abroad and lastly don't forget to subscribe because more content is coming take care and i will see you next week <laughs>